Hi everyone. I'd like to go over using river stones for sharpening. Here I have my mora that I've gone and made dull and we'll notice it's not taken hair off of my leg. Okay, I've got this stone, it's the flattest I could find. Running my finger on it, it feels like a piece of glass. It almost seems flat. It's the tiniest little fraction of a millimetre rise there, right there, but other than that, it would be unrealistic to expect a river stone better than this. I just went out looking for it. But it's got a nice flat side to it, and when you run your thumb over it, your finger, it really does feel like a piece of ceramic or glass. See, if you've been working with traditional sharpening stones, you should be able to tell by feel that the really super high grit ones feel smooth, not rough. So, we've established that it's blunt and it's not really taken hair. So, let's sharpen it. I'm going to need for a bit more stability. Now, granted, this knife was not super dull and probably would do alright with a paper test if I actually had paper out here with me. But I didn't bring any, so we'll just have to go by a scale of how well it takes hair. Ah, and I've got sunscreen in my eyes, yay! Oh, well, at least it's my bad eye. I just want to take it slow and steady. Well, just want to take our time, not really rush it. Just be controlled in our motions. And when you are sharpening like this, you can feel the imperfections. You can't really see them, there's the tiniest little vibration in your knife. And you can tell that's from where it's not perfectly flat. Which really enforces why you want to move away from the edge sharpening with a found river stone. Because going forwards is great for removing material. At this point, we are polishing. If it was super dull, I'd probably be going that way to try and remove more material to get down to a virgin edge. But as it's not, we're going away. Trying to polish out and draw out the burr not rip it off by going forwards and hitting one of those minor microscopic imperfections. Alright, just a stick will do. Knock off the bear. Now, let's see how much of an improvement we have. Oh yeah. So yeah, not not super sharp. But it's really is removing hair. So what we normally do when we've polished the edge and knocked off the bear and it's taking hair reasonably. Yep, we strop it. And for me, that's gonna be my belt. Alright, I've had to switch to the other arm because, well, just ran out of hair, but... See, it's just a bit tricky for me to do it like this because I'm right-handed, but that is so much sharper now that it's been stropped, it's just... 
Yep. Glove lens sharp. So there you have it. A knife sharpened or at least honed with a river stone. It, to be honest, yeah, we got it sort of blunt. We got it down to the point where it was no longer taking hair. I made it blunt. But by finding the flattest, smoothest stone we could and being very precise with our motion and being very precise with our method and sharpening away from the edge opposed to into it we were able to sharpen this back up to the point where now it is taking hair very well which is the level of sharpness I like for my knives so I can shave my limbs with it not game to shave my face with it just yet oh what the hell Yeah, that counts. We went, got it from not taking any hair up to shaving hair off of our limbs. With just good technique, a good river stone that we found. Well, I found it, you didn't do anything. And my belt for stropping. Now, to be honest, this is more of a honing than true sharpening. And if anyone else would like to have a go at this, Please leave that as a video response. I would love to see how you go with it. Alright everyone, stay safe. I hope you have a good one.